Hello everyone, today on the channel, it's time for limited. So, uh, yeah, we're pretty much done with Domina, yeah. We're gonna go on a hunt, a midnight hunt. Let's see if we actually remember what on God's green earth was actually good in this set. Because it's been a while since we drafted this. It's been a minute, yo, it's been a minute. <coughs> I don't even know what this guy does in Constructor. When you cast review the top X creature cards put in the graveyard. I don't know even know if this guy is the best guy in this whole thing. I don't even know. I mean, we'll take him. I don't know if we want to play Golgari. This seems to be good. I guess we could be in Golgari after all. <coughs> that seems to be good. Pick up this guy. I think there's lots of enchantments and artifacts in the set. Vampire Socialite is good, but so is the Fenestrade. I mean, if you're gonna stay Golgari, there's no point in splashing red. Uh, if we remember correctly, this guy was some good. Uh, uh, this guy is not bad. I think he's better than the farmer. This is... I think we're gonna take the return over the armor. I think the armor is not good. Uh, these guys are good. We already have one liberator. So we're gonna take the big boys. And we got options. We got the reach thing. We got the snarling thing. And we got the guide. I think we're gonna take the reach wolf. Sounds like he's rich. Not rich. He's rich. He's very rich. And we got the snarling wolf. No, I think we'll take the guy that can get. And I think so far he's so good. We don't have anything amazing. But we did pick up one removal spell. <coughs> one defenestrate. Oh yeah, baby. I mean, it's not that amazing in draft, but I mean, it's in, in our it's in our color, so we're gonna take it. Uh, yeah, we'll take the 6-5 big boy. And do we want this guy? He's not that good. I think we're gonna take another outlaw here. We gotta go aggro. Three counters. That's not that good. This is not bad. Or do we want this guy? <laughs> he doesn't actually fly. We'll get the howl. I think we might play just one howl. I think we only need one of these. I don't think we want to play two. We'll take the big boy. We would like more removal though. Okay, we'll take Plummet. So this set does not have that much removal. That's good to remember. Uh, so far it seems like we're gonna be left with just a one defense straight. Uh, sure, I don't think we're gonna play that. Do we want the enchantment removal, the guide or the wolf? I think we're just gonna take one return to nature just in case. Play more three drops. I think we have way too many three drops. Okay, there we get the one drop for free. Okay, sure, free return to nature. Okay, so anything amazing? Yep. I mean, we got all the rares in our colors for all the good that will do us. Uh, this pack is nothing in black. We're basically down to this guy or to this guy. Obviously, we take the mana guy. What does this guy do? Oh, this guy is like a removal thing. Uh, but so is this. But I don't know. Comes back, and he's an uncle. Uh, not interested in that. I think we have like two of these. Oh, this one is good. Forgot about her. She won us some games, I think, one time. She's just like unblockable, like the whole game. 
for some reason. Uh, we need this because we get to draw a card. Any chance for removal? We'll take this guy. I think we're not gonna get anything except for that. We're gonna have to play the blade brand. Gonna have to play the blade. Oh, there's silver bolt. I guess we can play silver bolt as a removal. It does kill stuff. Uh, yeah, this is also removal. Why are we getting the removal like now? It's so strange. I don't think we need any more of these wolves. Both of them. Uh, I don't think we want to bring back anything. Okay, so it's just going to be a... Uh, I don't know. Very, very straight up. Golgari deck. Golgari. Uh, I don't know if we need this. Uh, let's see what I want to take out. Let's see what we need to take out. Keep one plummet. Take out all the return to natures. We take out the no way out. We have two of these, but they do have reach. These guys also have reach. Uh, yeah, let's just go quickly take out whatever we're not gonna play. Okay, so what well, we have to cut six cards. Are you absolutely kidding us right now? We gotta cut six cards. Okay, take the one drops. We need the bolt and the blade rod. Procession is not bad. But if it doesn't come out, forget it. It's, we're not gonna we're not gonna go there. We still have to cut three more cards. Which have to be creatures because we have twenty three creatures. So we gotta cut three more creatures. I don't know if we wanna cut the two drops. Or these three drops. Don't know if we wanna cut this guy either. Maybe cut the bounding wolves here and keep the other thing that has reach. And we gotta cut like one more creature, probably from the top. This guy is a six five that becomes eight seven. Oh, we're gonna cut these because we have three of these. I think two of them are enough. So we are a little bit top heavy, but we have one, only, we have three two, never mind, we have five two drops. Okay, well, it's gonna be what it's gonna be, like we said, we haven't played this draft in a long time. So whatever happens, happens, and hopefully we can smash some face. Uh, what is an interesting... Oh, we should use this leaf, obviously. Okay. That's gonna have to be it. I mean, we didn't really get good removal. We only have one Divinity Straight, one Silver Bolt. And we have one Blade Brand, that's kind of removal, since our creature gets Death Touch. And we have one Plummet for Flyers. And we have one guy. Actually, we have like five or six removal spells. Like, they're just not the best. And they're all like conditional, like hell. So, that's not. It's not gonna be good for us. But again, we, had, we are like playing limited, as you know, like once a week. But we are not a limited channel. <laughs> so, the problem is. We can't really compete, as everybody knows. There are people that do videos every day, and if they have a lot of subscribers, and by a lot we mean a lot, like over 50,000 subscribers or 100,000 subscribers, they probably do this full time. So there's absolutely no chance for us to compete with them. Like, that's all there is to say. So if they block, we give it death touch and kill it. If they don't, they take the damage and then we drop this dude and they lose more life. And 
Then we need to drop this maybe. This will kill it when he flips over, if he flips over whenever he wants to flip over. People are in three colors, I'm not really sure this set was really viable for three colors, if we remember correctly. But that's neither here nor there. Oh, this guy can also come into play and kill something, okay. Put in the pressure. So they can jump block the three too. That's fine. Except now this guy comes in and kills their egg that they try to keep alive. And what is this third? We don't even remember what the mechanic does. Yeah, 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 it's gonna get destroyed. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you put counters on it, it's still gonna die. What is this third? Well, it comes back. As a flying or death touch. Yeah, I remember correct. This guy was good. This guy was good. Ah, uh, sure. Oh, this is really good. After we get this guy down, we can actually cast this guy. Next turn. Ah, uh, we can't attack with everyone. Just this guy. Oh no, it's 5 mana. Oh yeah, if we top the column we can cast him for 5 next turn. Yeah, okay, that's not gonna do anything. No, getting the 5 mana, we could have cast this too and you would have trample. Would be nice to get a 5th land, opponent already got their 5th land. Doesn't matter what they block, they don't have any real good thing. Like this guy draws us a card, this guy can get death touch and kill it, this thing can like literally come back. I guess it's fine mana to come back, but Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, you got it. I mean we're not drawing the fifth land, so we got a hope since they're playing blue, they're gonna play another creature that has flying, hopefully. And we need to draw a fifth land. Once we need to get a fifth land, we can get this guy down, and then this guy down, and then this guy down, and it's like over. And of course they have two of these, because why would they not have two of these? I don't think they want to attack though. I don't think. Of course I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Yes, finally. Okay, let's get this down first. Let's get this bad boy down. Draw a card, lose one life, that's fine. And we're not gonna attack. Pass the turn. This guy's gonna on top. Yeah, it's a 7 6 with menace, and then the next one we can actually cast. We don't need a flying death touch guy, we can cast this guy. And of course, they have. Oh no, they don't have two of these, but they can't attack us because they're at 8. Can they? I don't know. I don't know, but we're running 20 creatures. So basically, they can do all their fancy spells and stuff, but unless they have a board wipe, we don't really care because we're gonna drop a lot of creatures. Sure. Uh, yeah. Coming in with both guys. Because why wouldn't we? And uh, we're at 12, so here's another big boy. And the behemoth on tops next time. Let me guess they have a counter. No, they're gonna do two cards. Okay. That's fine. They have mana, so we can block them, but I mean, we are double the life that they can do damage, so unless they have something that doubles. Okay. But that's still only 9 damage. So, what now? Because next turn, you're gonna get hit with, like, everything. They can kill us this turn, and then next turn they probably gonna be dead. 
they gotta double block this and then block this and then they just take four from this okay well they're gonna lose a lot of creatures that's for sure so and these guys get trample so they gotta be careful how they block the trample guy yeah it's good game I mean we missed the land drop turn 5 land drop we missed the land drop for a couple of turns but again we mentioned before playing 20 creatures if possible because we are on like 42 cards all the time if you watch our channel hopefully you watch our channel uh, you know every single limited sealed or draft deck except for maybe a few of them don't remember what format that we did 41 cards but every other single one we've been doing 42 cards so 42 cards and 17 lands means we got like two extra cards than everybody else which usually means two extra creatures because we do try to run like uh, five or six i don't know removal spells we do have two drops they're like five two drops more red okay that's not a two drop guess we can cast him and then try to attack with him and then cast him we need to get his like a uh, his ability going on we also need to draw lands yeah so we just literally just we're gonna use okay so let's hope they have a lot I mean not hope but maybe they have a lot of the fenestrate removal spells. I mean they are red, they could have burned too. So we are like one mana away from dropping back to back cavalries. Which is fine because we don't really have much else to drop. Yeah, okay, so this opponent just Well, we got lucky with stick fingers. We don't have something to bring back. Oh, we gotta k kill that thing, otherwise we can block. But they can only make one. Alright, so we gotta hold up the other one to block. We gotta kill this stupid wolf. Because once they get to 8 mana, which might be like 3 turns, they can make both our creatures not able to block. I don't think they can attack here. I mean, they could have removal. They, they seem to be getting, like, this game seems to be going their, like, going their way. He can block. Okay, what, they think we're going to be afraid to block this guy? We're at 10. Uh, I don't know if they have a pump. They could have a pump in red? I don't think so. Yeah, they don't want to lose the guy. But I mean, they have to bank on us not having a removal spell, which unfortunately we don't have right now. And... Let's just pass the turn. I think we can't attack. I think we can't attack until we get more creatures because they could have a haste. There's a haste guy, if we remember correctly. Come on, we need a remover. We might have to just cast something. We might have to just cast this on something to draw. We need a remover for this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's just hit them for 10. If they have the haste guy, whatever. If they don't, they just deal 2 damage to us and we still have more creatures in them. We don't have to do this, obviously, but we just want to draw a card. And they might have a pump spell. Yeah, they have a pump spell, but either way, it's still 5 damage. Sure, we take that guy out. 
No, we don't take it out because he gets first strike. Okay. Yeah, they just deal two damage to us. That's fine. Okay, that's not fine. Okay, they, they just get whatever they want. I mean, they, when the opponent just gets whatever they want, they just get whatever they want. And they're now one land away from making two of our creatures not able to block. So we literally don't really have any options. So you might as well just attack. Because if they draw a land, they just hit us for five and we go down to one. And we have to try to... I don't know, we didn't draw something to kill this thing. This guy's ridiculous. It's a common too. Like, you can just sit there. Sure. Uh, make him can't block. So, yeah. We go down to one. So can we do 12 damage for them? No, we can't. No, we can't because... We keep drawing lands. Okay, so we're gonna lose to this stupid thing. I guess we should have killed this thing instead of the 6-5. Actually, that was a mistake because we have ways of dealing with the 6-5, but this thing just like literally kill us. Uh, I mean, they make both of our creatures not able to block. There's no way for us to deal damage to this guy. Yeah, I just, I don't know, attack. Yeah, you got the game. I mean, we made a mistake. We should have bolt, used the bolt on this and then just deal with the 6-5 because it's just a 6-5 guy. And yeah, this guy doesn't have flash. I'm not sure why we thought he has flash. Congratulations. I mean, they just drew like gas. They just drew like gas, the removal, and then just everything was on point. Mana was also on point. Congratulations on drawing the best stuff. And we made a mistake with the removal. Should have killed the wolf. Should have let the 5 6 survive. Live and learn. Live and learn. Why are we not drawing our two drops? Why? That is a question that we would like answered. How does this work again? Oh, if we have three or more creatures, we get a counter, otherwise they just fight, okay. No two drops, zero two drops, because why get two drops, why? You have a flyer, uh, yeah, actually we don't need to kill this because we have this guy who has reach. So if they kill him then we can worry about stuff. Yeah, that's right, you can't attack. That is very, very right. Uh, we could fight something. Let's just cast this guy for now, because if we get another mana, like five, we can actually do two things next turn. Uh, pass the turn. Big boys, big boys are coming. Sure, we can actually defenestrate them, but I don't think we need to do that. And we can just cast this. She can jump block and draw something.
Actually, we did not position very well at this point. Sure, we just take the five. We don't have something different power because these are both one. I think it's better if we just kill the rejuvenator. And uh, where's our fifth mana? That is not a fifth mana. Okay, so that pro totally sucks. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to use this to draw a land, hopefully. Yeah, and uh, we can defenestrate the cavalry. Let's just do it now and then pass the turn. Opponent is deep, deep in the deck. Yeah, that's something we want to plummet if it actually flips over. Wow, talk about aggressiveness. Talk about aggressiveness. Ah, uh, we f just drop this guy. If they flip the Delver over, we can just plummet him next time. I mean, they only got one car left. We are a nine, but. They only got one card left. Oh! Oh, snap! Snapola. Let's drop this guy down. And attack with him. We need him to block the Delver if he flips. Yeah, we're just gonna drop big guys now. It's okay, we got a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, he's good. I think we're just gonna attack with a 6-6. Six, six. No, actually attack with a 5-5 five, five and a 6-6. Six, six. How did we not notice he has vigilance? Okay. I think it's safe to say we can drop this guy too so they lose two more life. And hold up Plummet for the Delver. Even though we have this guy. The bonnet is a 6-6, six, six, but it doesn't do anything because we also have a 6-6. Six, six. Take out the Delver now. Let's move on. Let us move on. Yeah, so what we were saying, like, we are not a channel for uh, going all crazy with uh, competitive stuff so obviously we can only we only have time to do three videos opponent goes first again again we have a three drop i don't think we want to cast this guy for zero <laughs> i guess he's very good late and they go for it okay and we have nothing i mean if he flips we could possibly die to this if we don't draw either we have two of the rich guy and of course he flipped and they have a remover spell because this opponent is, uh, I don't know, he's playing uh, magic in uh, Christmas land. 
magical Christmas land and then of course we don't draw anything useful so we need to draw the plummet ASAP or we can draw the guy that has reach but of course they have a removal spell so that's not gonna do much and we can't really race them either let's just cast this guy And of course they have another flyer, so we're gonna be dead in like three turns instead of like four turns. Like if we cast the guy that has flying, not flying reach. But the good news is we have the five mana. The bad news is we still haven't drawn anything to deal with them. If they take this damage, hopefully they take the damage and save the remover for something. We can gain two life. With this other arrogant guy. What, they have another one of these? Okay, so hopefully they don't have a counter spell. We can go to 11 to buy us another turn. But like, we need to draw, we need to draw the guy. We need to draw the guy, I mean they're gonna kill it, but we totally need to draw. We actually need to draw a remover, what are we talking about? We need to draw the bolt or something to kill the one of the flyers, but we are not drawing anything like that. Okay, let's just cast this guy. He seems to be the biggest guy. So we basically dead next turn. I think. I mean, we're not dead next turn. We're gonna go down to one. We're gonna go down to one. So we have one turn to draw a remover spell. Actually, we go down to one. One removal spell is not going to do anything. So, I don't know how we can get out of this because they have removal spell. For our guy. We need something to gain life, but we already played two of these. Doesn't gain any life. And we don't have life. I mean, it is what it is. First turn Delver, flip Delver. Okay, she doesn't do anything. Uh, they have remover for this guy. That's the problem. Wow, we managed to not draw any remover the whole game. We don't have anything with haste. She can come in and investigate and then like what are we gonna do? He can put a lot of them. Yeah, let's just attack. They have exactly enough mana to kill the guy with ward, so... Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. If we had something to protect him, they would be dead right now. Like with this block that they just did. I don't know if there is anything in here. But... Yeah, I mean, th there's nothing we can do. There's nothing, we don't have anything to protect him. And I think that's the end of the game. That's the end of the game. Yeah, I mean, we didn't draw any removal. All we drew were creatures. We did not draw any removal the whole game. And we did not draw the two creatures, even though they could probably kill them. We did not draw the two creatures that can actually block flyers, because we have two of them in the deck. The one force. So that's five, that's like seven cards or six cards that could have drawn to kill at least one of these things and they went flip delver turn one. So magical Christmas land, let's go. So as we were saying, this is why we're not competitive because this type of nonsense happens. Like we just gave up trying to like finish the, finish the actual, oh, now we go first. And we have a two drop, what a surprise, because we just lost. We gave up trying to actually finish the draft and like post videos where the draft is finished. 
just gave gave up literally just gave up because we don't we don't play that many drafts like we literally have, only have time to like play one draft a week which is the one that you're seeing right now that is all the time that we actually have yeah that thing has to die Uh, do you want to cast a creature or do you want to draw a card? I think we're just going to cast this guy to put more pressure and gain the extra life. That's always beneficial. Yeah, so we basically gave up on trying to deal with this stuff. Like, we're not that type of channel. Like, we're not at the point where we're just going to win draft after draft after draft so it's fun to play one draft usually we don't even look at the set before we play we also play seal so some people want to see uh, i don't know what you want to say we're not really casual here we're not really professional like in between some people want to see kind of casual or professional or whatever they want to see people draft so you got you got whatever you get from us not gonna lie and that's all there is to it. That is all there is to it. And the other days you can just enjoy the historic brawl decks, which we make a brand new brawl deck basically every single week. Or you can enjoy a new alchemy deck every Monday. Uh, do we want to cast this dude could be used to remove her, but like we're they're never gonna block and we have blade brand if we have to we have to remove or something this way and we just need one more mana for this so might as well it seems like they're stuck on three lands but that's not our problem and it's game over yeah they didn't draw a fourth land well that's unfortunate but that's how the cookie crumbles that's how the cookie crumbles. So let's move on. So we had to make a choice. I guess we didn't really talk about this before, like what to do with the channel, because we used to do every day. We used to post videos every day, if you can even call it that, like five days a week but we basically didn't get very far with that. And again, we can compete with people who are actually getting paid, like they're making a living off of YouTube. That's why they pay, post five days away. No, there goes our duel for dominance, I think. No, they're more afraid of Blade Brand. Okay, well, sure. Whatever you want, it's still one of our kind of remover spells. Unlimited lands. Let's go for it. There's no point in keeping the cover cut ports because they know it exists. So you might as well just cast it to put more pressure on them. Yeah, okay. I mean, if this guy dies and we have 5 mana, he can come back at a 2-2 two -two flyer with death touch. So that's a lot better. That is a lot better. Ah, uh, yes, you can do your 2 damage. Congratulations. So this is where we stand. This is literally where we stand. It 
Is this player gonna be, I don't know, this opponent gonna cast any creatures today or what? They're playing like control deck. Discuss two cards. Uh, these two because we're not gonna get the mana and whatever. Okay, we are gonna get the mana. Doesn't matter, the zombie can block. Last the turn. Yeah, okay, the, the, the guy that plays, uh, I don't know, unlimited duress. Who on their, do they even have creatures, man? Okay, him. Okay, you can suck another creature to transform into a 4-4, four, four. that's fine. Like, how did, how did these people even, like, get away with this stuff? I don't think they want to block because they want to make the guy into a 4-4. Like literally, like who plays this? Like what kind of crazy deck wants to play? I mean, I'm sure they have sun creatures besides this guy. I don't know what other creatures they might have. Yeah, if we get a fifth mana, like this guy's going to come back. And then they can't even get to do their ecstatic awakener combo. Okay, have another wolf since that's all that seems we're drawing. Like, honestly, people actually expect to win with this deck. Yeah, okay, sure. Gonna hit us for four now. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't care if this guy dies, because we, if we have the fifth mana, we don't have the fifth mana. But we're gonna drain them for two life, too. Unless we have to make the death touch. Okay, we didn't have to do the death touch. That's even better. Okay, hopefully we can top deck a fifth land next turn. And then this guy can come back flying. And I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. With their 4-4. Four, four and all their spells. Actually, we don't really care what they're gonna do. Oh, oh, they want to block now. Okay. Well, have at it. Have at it. Really? Okay. Here comes the flyer. Here comes the flyer. Here comes the flyer. Oh, they have one too. The inter adversary. Okay, that's fine. Which one do you want to use? No, we don't need to block because we're at 20. There are four. They have to block. Oh, and look at what we drew. Oh, we drew the remover spell. What do you know? What do you know? We drew the remover spell. So they have to block the flyer, obviously, go down to two. And then, I don't know what's happening next time. They should theoretically be super dead unless we draw... Yeah, unless we draw just lands. Yeah, they have to block. Pass the turn. Because we draw lands instead of creatures. And we drew two lands in a row. This one you know arenas are getting like yeah, you got you you might have to lose you might have to lose here. Just maybe, maybe you might be in a position to lose after the opponent played like very, very, very weird deck with all their discard shenanigans. And three lands in a row. Because why not? Why not? 
And we're gonna get four lands in a row for the total loss, just to make it even more blatant. And of course, the opponent is drawing creatures. Wow! Ha 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 ha! Four lands in a row. Four lands in a row. I guess this is the last game for us this draft. After we just totally dominated this opponent, we managed to draw four lands in a row. This thing has menace. Okay, that's not good. So that means we go down to two. Or they have a pump spell to kill us. No, they have blade brand. That's how they survive. Okay. Do we have a remover spell? I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, we drew four lands in a row and we could have put pressure. I guess it doesn't really matter what this guy does because they have menace and we can't gain life. And they have a flyer, so... Yeah, I mean, we, we did what we did, but in the end it doesn't really matter because we drew four lands and the opponent stabilized at two and he thinks it's a good game. But in reality it was not a good game because he literally should have been dead. Except for the fact that we drew all the lands we could have possibly drawn in that game. So that's the end of Midnight Hunt for us. It is what it is. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. So thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe for more of these MTG content videos.